This video shows you how to build device templates for your Project Assist project. A device template is a dynamic graphical panel that represents certain devices. Each instance of the panel shows information for a particular device. First, click on Build from the Project Assist homepage. You can also click on Manage Dashboards from the tabs at the top of the screen. In your project tree, you can see your locations and devices. Applicable nodes in the project tree have gray or white buttons next to them. You can click either color of button to start editing a device template. The white buttons indicate that a page already exists, and the gray buttons indicate that you haven't created a page yet. Click the button next to one of the devices. This takes you to a workspace where you can edit the device template that this device uses. This workspace has three layers. In general, you should add ducts to the layout layer, equipment to the equipment layer, and widgets to the widget layer. This makes it easier to select and edit items later on. When you expand a duct, equipment, or widget group at the bottom of the screen, the associated layer is selected automatically. To lay out the shape of a device, drag duct pieces from the palette at the bottom of the screen. If you add a piece and decide you don't want it, right-click the piece and select Delete. You can also click the piece and then click Delete. Next, lay out the equipment that goes in the device. Select Equipment at the bottom of the screen and drag and drop the equipment that is part of the device. For this AHU, I'll add an outside air damper, return air temperature sensor, filter, cooling coil and heating coil, and supply fan and supply air temperature sensor. For some equipment pieces, you can bind data points. This lets you create animations and other visual effects that are dependent on data. Click Binding Tree to see a list of points that you can bind to your equipment. In this case, I will bind the outside air damper position, return air damper position, return air temperature, filter status, hot water valve, chilled water valve, supply fan status, and supply air temperature to the equipment pieces. As you can see, the fan and cooling coil are animating, indicating the data from the particular device for this instance of the template. The final step of creating a device template is to add widgets. To add a widget, drag it from the bottom of the screen to the editing window. I'll add callouts and bind the hot water valve and chilled water valve data points to them. I'll also add a node list widget and drag some points to it. Next, I'll add a text heading, bind the unit name to it, right click and select Edit Properties, and change the binding target to value. That way, the name of the device is shown in the text box. When you are done editing your device template, you can exit the editor by clicking Exit and then Save and Close. Preview the other devices that use this template by clicking them in the project tree. You and your users can use the template you just created to interact with the data for this device. Simply click on Equipment or Widgets to interact with the bound point. To learn about all of the Project Assist widget types, see the Project Assist wiki.